Da Nang, Vietnam. It is a gorgeous sunny day here. We arrived two days ago actually from Hanoi. We are currently doing a north to south two week trip around Vietnam. We didn't show you Hanoi and I'm sorry about that. After the visa fiasco, we lost a day. And so the one full day that we had in Hanoi before we did Ha Long Bay, we kind of just took to ourselves, but we had tons of fun and we highly recommend Hanoi. It's a great city. We tried egg coffee and coconut coffee. We went to the infamous train street. It was a blast. And we'll kind of insert some pictures so you can see what we were up to. But we went out to Ha Long Bay, came back, and then flew from Hanoi down to Da Nang, which is where we are now. Today is our second full day here in Da Nang. Yesterday, our first full day here was a rest day, as we do like to do, but today is jam-packed. Today, we are going to check out some pagodas. We're going to go to the local beach. We're going to hike and explore the Marble Mountains. We're going to go check out the night market. Basically, all of the highlights you can do here in Da Nang, we're going to go hit those up today. Also, I'm really excited. One of my best friends from college, and from work actually is gonna meet us here in Da Nang and travel with us through Ho Chi Minh where he'll also be meeting back up with us in Bangkok after he goes and explores the Philippines. I am so excited to explore with friends. We haven't actually traveled with any friends since September and it's always a good time and it definitely holds us accountable to get out and hit the highlights. So first we're gonna start as we always do and head and grab some coffee. spot to grab some coffee specifically coconut coffee which I have learned is one of my new favorite things it's like strong coffee condensed milk shaved coconut on top it's delicious I've already ordered one but anyway the whole kind of vibe here it's, it's communism themed which kind of sounds weird I think Jordan was a little bit like what it's more meant to be sort of a nostalgia of the childhood and the 80s of the owner. That's kind of why they built it up like this. You'll see the wait staff are sort of dressed in like what you think of as communist fatigues with the green and the hats and everything, but it's mostly just kind of an interesting vibe. It doesn't really mean anything or affect your coffee experience, but it is a beautiful place to sit and have a cup because you are facing the water. You can watch the world go by on one of the main roads. <laughs> And they blend it up quickly, as you can hear. So we're just going to enjoy a cup. The good thing about being the only people in here is everything arrives very fast. I have my coconut coffee. So delicious. It's got the coffee, the condensed milk, and shaved coconut ice on top, which is really honestly the reason I want it. I love cold, sweet treats and like a little shaved ice deliciousness and a good excuse to have it at breakfast, right? Look at that. Woo! So good. It's, it's freaking delicious. It's coconut milk in ice form that they shave on top of coffee. It's, it's like maybe the best coffee drink I've ever had because I, it's dessert. It's so good. Jordan just got a regular Americano. You see, that's what he likes. I got dessert because that's what I like. It's so good. It's so good. Actually, I didn't get an Americano. I got a black Hanoian coffee. I actually have no clue what it is. So if you know, pop that down in the comments below and let me know exactly what this is. Okay, not what I expected. I expected something that tastes more like an espresso because there's not a lot of quantity and it's a deep black color or dark brown. But it's super sweet. It's actually really good. Kind of frothy on top. I really like it. just the same as Uber and Lyft. Super duper affordable and that is how we are going to bounce around all over town today. So we're going from our cafe all the way up kind of the north 
of the coast beachy area over to Chua Lin Un Pagoda, which is supposed to be a beautiful sort of temple and pagoda complex. I'm very excited to see it. We arrived here at the temple complex. Today we have two main sites in the complex that we're here for. We're here to check out the Lady Buddha statue as well as the pagoda. So let's go check those out now. Lady Buddha statue. She is the tallest Buddha statue in all of Vietnam, 67 meters tall. And inside, there are actually 17 floors with an altar at each one. And I believe at each altar, there's like 21 Buddhas with different expressions and things. It's very sort of imposing and gorgeous. She looks very serene, kind of looking out on the water, holding her little bottle of holy water. It's a beautiful place to stroll around, and she is really super cool, honestly. Before we move over to the pagoda, we wanted to point out the spectacular view of the city of Da Nang from up here. Just in front of Lady Buddha, there's little places to kind of sit and look at the water and the beach, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Also, one more thing, it didn't cost us anything to get in. You can just walk right on in. In fact, when we took our grab, they drove all the way up to the entrance. Easy peasy. Anyway, let's go see the pagoda. fun time exploring this whole complex. It is way prettier than I thought it was going to be. There is so much to see here, so many details. The bonsai trees, the little Buddha statues everywhere. The temples are gorgeous. Now we're going to go grab some lunch because we're both a little bit hungry and all we had for breakfast was a croissant. Alright, we're here at ROM. It's actually an acronym, R-O-M, which stands for Revolution of Mushroom. They have a lot of traditional Vietnamese dishes here, and they're vegetarian, which is really good for us because we've honestly been struggling to find a lot of vegetarian meals here in Vietnam because a lot of the dishes are so meat heavy. So we're really excited. We have an appetizer and a couple of different dishes. Excited to dig in and see what it tastes like. The bowl made of tofu filled with more tofu. I'm not disappointed. This looks really good too. So I got a bowl of fresh noodles with fried spring rolls, and these spring rolls are the best I've ever had. They're delicious. Really great flavor. Jordan, you've got that one. So I haven't gotten to the noodles yet, but it looks great. It's very fresh, very bright. Jordan is very hungry, so he ordered quite a lot. We've got a huge plate of veggie tempura. Looks like we have some okra, maybe some carrots, some potatoes, some mushrooms, tofu maybe. Looks good. Hot. <laughs> good. All right, that was a really delicious meal. If you're here, you're vegetarian, come check it out. Even if you're not vegetarian, come here. The food is delicious. It will not disappoint. Now, we're gonna go take a beat for just a second and then see if Will has landed and see if we can't sync up with him real quick before we get out and get going to explore some more. Hey there. Hey, this is 
my buddy Will. We met, gosh, over a decade ago in Austin at college at UT. And we've been best friends ever since and even worked together over the last few years. Yeah. yeah. So he flew in from Bangkok just now. You had a couple days traveling, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So Tokyo, Bangkok, and now here. Now here we are. We're getting ready to head to the Marble Mountains. We're gonna spend the next couple hours there exploring the pagodas, the caves, and just seeing what that area has to offer. So let's get going. Mountains. We have gone a little ways south of Da Nang and we are on the water mountain. So each of the mountains are named for different elements and this is the water mountain. And we are going to take some very steep stairs all the way up. There are temples to see, caves to see, with temples in the caves. It should be really cool. But we thought we'd intro and tell you about it now before we all get out of breath because these stairs are serious. All right, we just saw our first temple here, and it is beautiful. It's very ornate. Kind of reminds me of the temples we saw in the Wan Prabang in the sense that they have a lot of details. Like there's a story to be told on the front of it. Good first, good first temple. Right. Which one? Neither. We're going that way. <laughs> So far, so beautiful. We've been greeted again by Lady Buddha, looking peaceful as usual, and we're gonna continue on into the caves. I didn't hear any screams, so assuming everyone's all right. <laughs> hey, babe. What? Can you grab the camera from me? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm coming. Yikes. Tight fit. Yeah, I don't recommend uh, wearing your backpack when you're coming in. Didn't expect to go caving here, but that was fun. Made it. Everyone's still alive. All right, so at the top, through that little cave tunnel we just climbed through, is a beautiful viewpoint atop the top of this little mountain. And the views are really nice up here of all of Da Nang and around. You can see the ocean and all the buildings. It's actually really nice. It is crowded though. There are a lot of people and there's not a lot of room. So expect to wait if you want to get a picture or a shot when you're up here. Good luck. Yeah. May the force be with you. 
<laughs> He's alive. <laughs> so far. <laughs> what did you think? That was way more of an adventure than I anticipated, but I loved it. Climbing and like feeling like you're really doing something with a nice reward at the end. That was nice. I enjoyed it. Let's go. Okay. If you want a shortcut up to the lookout, instead of going up to that cave, when you see the sign for Heaven Gate, take a right and that will take you up some stairs to that lookout. <laughs> But we took the way more adventurous and fun route. to the beach. There are several beaches throughout Da Nang. They kind of run along the coast of the city like you might see in Miami or something. They'll just be big sprawling beaches awesome. and tall high-rise well, buildings. Then? And that is where we're uh, headed. We just want to put our toes in the water, seven, just say we were there minutes. before we move on for the day. There's some legit big waves out there and there's people surfing too and I can see why. This just really kind of surprised me and made my day. I'm happy about this. Excited? Right. Sit down, chill out, have a few beers. So you're well, one today. each. Few yeah. between the three of us. How would you take it? Two weeks? Yeah, we just couldn't pass it up. Uh, like so the weather out here is cooled down. It's nice and breezy. Good people watching. All right, we're all done here at the beach. We stayed here way longer than we thought we were. We had a good, refreshing beer at one of the little bars here. Highly recommend that if you're here. Now we're gonna head over to the night market and grab some food. <laughs> Thank you. We have arrived at the night market, one of many throughout Da Nang. We are on the one that's across the side of the Dragon Bridge, if that makes sense. So go across the Dragon Bridge on the side where the head of the dragon is, because we want to check out the market, get some dinner, but then be around for the show later tonight. We've seen these everywhere. They're Vietnamese pancakes, and it looks like they're traditionally served with meat in there, but they said they can make it vegetarian. It will have an egg in there, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out. It seems like one of the few vegetarian options here. Y'all, there is a ton of meat, a ton of seafood. Like, if that's what you enjoy, you will have no problem eating here. There is a lot of actually really good looking stuff here. Off the grill. Mm. No, it's a taco. Very crispy. Mm. That spicy sauce is good. 
It's like if you made a quesadilla out of a crunchy taco, but corn. It tastes very corn-like. A little spicy with the sauce. It's really nice. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> First night market, got a mango smoothie so far. We're gonna work on some food in a minute. It's really good, super fresh, made right in front of us. <laughs> Yeah. A slice of uh, pizza with pumpkin. Yum. Sounded delicious. Do you want any? Yeah. They're all vegetarian, so do you want All of them? Yeah. Alright, we found a stall serving up some delicious New York pizza. It is called Gordon's New York Pizza, run by a guy straight from New York. And he was super friendly and super kind. And they are making pumpkin pizza. And I just couldn't pass that up. The margarita also looked really good and sort of the barbecue and they're all vegetarian, love that. But pumpkin pizza, it just sounded fun and unique. So we're gonna sit down and give it a try. I was told that the pumpkin is made by hand from the owner's favorite vegetarian restaurant. So that's exciting. Thank you so much. That's good. That's awesome. The pumpkin is nice and sweet, but there's tons of chili flakes on top, so it's actually quite spicy. And the crust is super tender, really good. Y'all have got to come here and have a slice. So far, this is their only location, so come and get it. Pork skewer, and there's a little bit of like hot sauce and garlic sauce to go with it. 20,000 for your people trying to find out how much things cost. Beef was actually cheaper. Beef would have been 15k, but pork looked good. Yeah, we're going to try a slice of the margarita and then a slice of the barbecue, right? A slice of barbecue. Great, I appreciate it. Thank you. Delicious. I'm and then, hurry. That sounds yeah. awesome. Alright, we've got some more slices just because, and I've got a barbecue slice because you never see barbecue pizza without chicken on it, and it used to be one of my favorites when I was a kid, so I was feeling nostalgic. Smells delicious. Bill's laughing at me because he's finally seeing what it's like to film yourself and how ridiculous it is. That's okay. Cheers. How much are the snails? This is a lot more interesting. There we go. Come to Papa. It's good. It's not escargot. It is good. Does it taste like anything? Like a snail. Okay. <laughs> it was really chewy. It reminds you of a squid. And then they've got that like uh, kind of like sweet and sour hot sauce. What about you, dude? <laughs> Not for me. Nope. <laughs> Smoke it. It's really light too. Man. That's cool. You gotta try this. Like almost nothing on the inside. It tastes like like pretty pebbles or something. I don't know. It's like a rice cracker, right? Like a, yeah, like a rice cracker, but sweet, kind of fruity. It might be the sauce that tastes fruity. And I guess they pour liquid nitrogen on it. And more. After a very full day around Da Nang and with friends, we are going to round out our day at the Dragon Bridge, which is just behind me, on weekend, Saturday and Sunday, around 9 p.m. The dragon literally breathes fire and water, I believe, and there's a whole show you can watch, so we made sure to come to the night market that was on this side of town so we could be close up to the dragon's head and catch the show. We've still got an hour, so we are gonna end things here. We'll show you the dragon, obviously. We're gonna say goodnight, and we will see you in the next one.
Yeah, you know, a little shitty travel moment. I stepped in a really big, very wet dog poop. I spy the dog that did it. He's right there. I wasn't looking. We were trying to film one of those, like, walk by and look around. I was not looking, and all of a sudden I slipped, and I almost fell. And that would have really ruined the day, but just smeared that stuff all over the place.